semente para mim assim é o é o principal eu sei da terra que eu tenho eu sei a, a qual semente que vai melhor naquela terra eu sei, eu sei a, a época certa de, de colocar essas sementes né? então a semente é um quem compra a semente não compra ele aluga porque todo ano ele tem que pagar é um aluguel que ele está pagando da semente então a gente tem feito um trabalho com os agricultores, através de sindicatos cooperativas, de monitoramento para conservação da semente crioula. Esse trabalho a gente tem feito dentro dessa região centro-sul do Paraná, em torno de mais ou menos 10 municípios. Você tem hoje é, em torno de 100 famílias produzindo sementes, que a gente considera que são os guardiões das sementes crioulas. We have to intensify biodiversity. That means we have to have more seeds in our hands. We have to intensify ecology. That means we have to have more knowledge in our minds of how to grow better food with less resources, how to grow food locally. <laughs> Idrinda nama gadar tu ada ya bertakri, amal godam bi gada ada orang, cikku gada no ada tu, ya cikku nama gua mawin gada tu na, bala lagi ada orang hendal orang, amal badu nama jamin sut mutlu ella na gober gada gada hacer. We've saved seed and it took a lot to find old varieties of cotton. We help farmers go organic and we tell them. Till 15 years ago, you were growing cotton organically, and you were also growing it as a mixture with your food crops. It was not a monoculture. So bring back your thur and your juar, bring back your food so your family is not in distress. And then we help them finding markets for their organic cotton. Los escenarios que se pintan en torno a los alimentos son bien difíciles. Y ahí tiene un papel fundamental la pequeña agricultura portadora, conservadora, creadora ¿no? de esta gran diversidad. My uncle Longhorn Kato. Uh, this is a, a special indigenous breed from uh, my country, Uganda. I believe it's very important not only for the pastoralists, the, the Bahima community, but also for Uganda because I believe the pastoral communities have uh, been grazing this animal. They have bred it for centuries and it has special values. It's a hardy animal. It can eat all types of bushes and grass. It needs only little water. It produces uh, very high butter content milk. Its meat has low cholesterol and it's really perfect for our food security. Luego la agrobiodiversidad es el capital económico para ellos, eh, es un capital de seguridad alimentaria y es un capital natural que les permite mantenerse eh, en, en esta actividad de la pequeña agricultura familiar. Contrariamente a lo que hace la agricultura industrializada, la agroecología también busca el diálogo de saberes, es decir, eh, no parte de cero, sino que reconoce que existe en las culturas tradicionales de América Latina una sabiduría eh, acumulada durante miles de años, eh, incluyendo la generación de nuevas especies. 70% of the world's population is fed by the small-scale farmers. There is only 30% of the world that is fed by the other landbouw system. And the small-scale system produces actually much more efficiently, with less losses. Uh, grotere biodiversiteit, uh, in harmonie met de natuur. I believe that the answer to hunger is an intensive agriculture, but intensive not in chemicals and toxics, not in capital and financial investment that gets farmers into debt, not intensive in fossil fuel use because fossil fuels are running out. It has to be intensive in ecological processes, where the soil organisms are generating 
the soil fertility. It is intensive in biodiversity so that you have more nutrition per acre. And third, it has to be intensive in care for the land and care for the people. Mm -hmm.